Good evening. Good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you doing? So far, so Hi, good, sir. teacher. So far, so good. That's perfect. Terrific. And the rest of you, how are you doing? How are you doing? How was your day? Did you have a good day? Yes, very good. All right, that's excellent. Um, so, have you been working on the platform? Yes, we do. Everything good with the platform? Eh, ¿Todo bien? ¿Tienen algún ejercicio que quieran que revisemos? ¿No? Ok, perfect. So, um, we're going to continue with uh, our presentation. So, the first thing that we had here is greetings. It's vocabulary. Do you remember greetings? Yes. Okay, what are greetings? Um, goodbye. Uh, goodbye um, is a greeting, yes. Is good night, good evening, good afternoon, good morning. All right, uh-huh. And what are the ways we have like uh, to say hello or to greet someone? Okay. We have this one, and this is basically vocabulary. Okay. We're going to check it in case you haven't. The first thing that we have here is a handshake. Yeah. A handshake. After that, a kiss on the cheek. Cheek. A bow. A bow. A hug. Pat on the back, a fist bump. Okay, questions about this vocabulary? Depends uh, of the country, teacher. Uh, yes, it depends. What, for example, what are the most common of these greetings that you see in the screen, what are the most common ones in El Salvador? Right now, a uh, fast bump. A uh, fast bump? <laughs> because uh, COVID-19. Uh, yes, that's <laughs> it. But let's let's try to, um, <laughs> to remember all time, <laughs> our lives before COVID. <laughs> What yeah. were the most common yeah. readings? Uh, a kiss on the cheek. A kiss on the cheek. Okay. Another one. A handshake. Así como, bueno, no sé cómo podría decir como uno solo dice qué onda. O sea, así como con la expresión de ah, qué onda. Solo ah, mueve la cabeza. Sé. No sé cómo se diría esto, pero. What's up? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, there's some people that just move like the, the head, like just is like, <laughs> yes. Okay, so the most common here in El Salvador, we can mention before COVID, uh, a handshake, a kiss on the cheek, a bow, a hug, a pat on the back, and a fist bump. Esto es bien común con los caballeros, ¿verdad? Que chocan los puños. A fist bump. Un golpe de, de, de puños, right? A fist bump. Eh, otro bien común entre los caballeros es a pat on the back. Una yeah. palmadita, una palmada yeah. en la espalda. A veces se dan un montón que uno dice, Dios mío. So, tal. <laughs> Where is it? Purely, purely lungs. Ya, ya es como con odio. 
Yeah. Tengo que entender esos saludos. But, but anyways. Ajá, sí, también hay algunos que pues se abrazan. It's like, ok. Um, esto es más común entre mujeres, un, un beso en la mejilla. Y muy formal, un apretón de manos. A handshake. Este no es común acá. Es creo que más que todo en los países chinitos. Ok. Um, as we don't have questions with vocabulary, we're going to move on with the next exercise. Uh, well, it's a, a conversation exercise. The topic is how's it going? And let me share my screen with you. I don't know if you guys can see it. Vamos a la sección two. Section two. Can you see my screen and share in the platform? Yes, I can. All right, very good. No, I can't. Oh, are you able to see it? A ver, ¿quiénes no la pueden ver? So, así vuelvo a compartir. Bueno, lo voy a hacer en eso para que cargue otra vez. Y se pone esta cosa que no quiere colaborar, pero aquí vamos a ver cómo hacemos. Right, um, here you are. Right yes. now, yeah. Okay, cool. So we're going to go to this conversation. Well, this section one, you know. That is allowed to load it. Hmm. All right, here we go. This is the conversation. Let us listen for pronunciation and then we're going to answer questions. Okay. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation between two people where yes, no questions and short answers with B are introduced. I want you to listen and notice how San He and David ask each other yes, no questions and how they answer. How's it going? Hey, David, how's it going? Fine, thanks. How are you? Pretty good. So are your classes interesting this semester? Yes, they are. I really love chemistry. Chemistry? Are you and Beth in the same class? No, we aren't. My class is in the morning. Her class is in the afternoon. Listen, I'm on my way to the cafeteria now. Are you free? Sure. Let's go. Okay, that was the audio for the conversation. We're going to check on the slides. Okay, so this is the conversation. Do you have any question in regards of vocabulary or pronunciation? Chemistry. Chemistry. And uh, this is the subject. Es una materia. At chemistry is química. Yeah, chemistry. Es la materia de química. Chemistry. Any <clears throat> other question? Okay, so let's practice pronunciation. Hey, David, how's it going? Hey, David. Hey, David. Hey, David. Hey, David. How's it going? Fine, thanks. How are you? Fine, thanks. How are you? How are you? How are you? Thanks. How are you? How are you? Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. So, good. are your classes so, interesting this semester? So, are your classes so are you interesting so this semester? This semester? Yes, they are. I, I really love chemistry. Yes, they yeah, are. They I, really are. Love, I really love chemistry. Yes, they are. I really oh, love sure. chemistry. 
chemistry. Are you and Beth in the same class? Chemistry. Are you and Beth in the same class? No, we hmm. aren't. My class is in the morning. Her class is in the afternoon. No, no, we are. We are in the morning. No, we are. My class is in the morning. Her class is in the afternoon. Listen, I'm on my way to the cafeteria now. Are you free? Listen, listen, I'm on my way. Are you free? Now, are you free? Sure, let's go. Sure, sure. let's go. 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 Yo tengo una pregunta. Ajá. Eh, on my sure. way to es cafeteria. Como, estoy es, de camino. Estoy en camino. Ajá, pero eso no, no se puede traducir literalmente. ¿no? Es como un idioma, ¿no? Sería como interpretar eh, estoy en camino. Porque si lo traducimos literal, diría estoy sobre mi camino. Estoy sobre mi mm -hmm. camino. It's like, uh, sounds better if we interpret like, estoy camino, o voy de camino. Normalmente sería como un voy de camino a, I'm on my way to the cafeteria. O si simplemente le dicen, ¿a dónde vas? Voy en camino, I'm on my way. Hasta ahí, I'm on my way. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Ajá, voy de I'm camino, ya voy en camino, I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Ajá, y si ya quiere especificar, I'm on my way home. Voy de camino a casa, I'm on my way home, I'm on my way to work, and etc. Do you have any other question? No. All right. Sure. Yes. Eh, la pronunciación cómo sería de sure ya con la finalización de David. Sure. Sure. Oh, sure. sure. La e no 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 suena. Sure. 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 Es como que sure. va a decir sure pero más con un sure. 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 Uh -huh. sure. 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 Excellent. That's the way. Sure. Any other question before we continue with the practice? No. All right, so um, I'm going to create the groups so you can practice this conversation with, the, um, with your classmates. And remember that this is very important, pronunciation, practice. So take turns. Tomen eh, turnos, cambien, cambien de compañero, cambien de rol en la conversación. Eh, as much as you practice is the bear. I'm on, I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Breakout rooms. Let's see how many are you. Wait for it. I think it's okay. Okay, so you will. See a pop up message that says join or unirse. And then you just click on it.
right now I see that everybody is here. Uh, so we finished this practice and we're going to proceed to check attendance. So let me allow this to, to load. Whenever you hear your name, please say present. Let's see, creo que se nos unió alguien más. Okay, Alejandro Ernesto. Yeah, present. Okay, thank you so much. Ana Trinidad. Present. Thank you so much. Let's continue with Andrea Estefanía. Present. Okay, Carlos Armando. Present. Claudia Stephanie. Claudia Stephanie. Yo sé que no está Claudia Stephanie. All right. Uh, Dinora Estela. Present. Thank you. Tio Messi Tito. Present. Edwin de Jesús. Present. Edwin Fabricio. Present. Emily Jamilet. Present Emma Tatiana. Present. Fátima del Rosario. Fátima del Rosario. Irving Norberto. Present. Jaime Romeo. Joana Celina. Joana Celina, thank you. Eh, Jose Mauricio. Present. Katherine Abigail. Katherine Abigail here. Okay, it's like now. Maria Catalina. Maria Catalina is not here, right? Milton Adan. Present teacher. Okay, Norma Evelyn. Present teacher, present. Okay, Lee de Jesus. O Kelly de Jesús, no se ha conectado. Oscar David. Present teacher, I'm here. Osmel Antonio. I'm here, teacher. Reina Carolina. Rosa Guadalupe. Rosa Guadalupe. ¿Quién está Rosa? Oh, ok. Saraí Beatriz. Present. Walter Rafael. Present, teacher. Okay. <coughs> Yasmina Stephanie. Ok. So, this is it for now. Let's continue with this uh, topic. I don't know if you or oh, we practice this. So we're going to move on. And the next thing that we have for today is the no questions and short answers with B. We have a video about this in the platform and there, there they mentioned something really, really, really important. Let us see what it is.
Okay, let's pay attention to the video. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to make yes-no questions and give short answers with B. Yes-no questions and short answers with B. Are you free? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is David from Mexico? Yes, he is. No, he's not. No, he isn't. Is Beth's class in the morning? Yes, it is. No, it's not. No, it isn't. Are you and Beth in the same class? Yes, we are. No, we're not. No, we aren't. Are your classes interesting? Yes, they are. No, they're not. No, they aren't. Take a look at the questions in the chart again. Are you free? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is David from Mexico? Yes, he is. No, he's not. Or no, he isn't. See the structure of the questions. B plus subject plus complement plus question mark. Keep in mind the verb be will depend on the subject we're talking about. Also, when answering in affirmative, you have to always say yes he is, yes we are, yes you are. Your answer should not be just yes. You do the same with negative answers. When your answer is no, you have to answer by saying no he's not or no he isn't, no they're not or no they aren't. Okay, here they mentioned the structure of this type of questions and also something very important. What was it? Do you remember? No? What do you remember? O que se les quedó del video? Algo que, que, que quieran eh, como hacer un resumen, lo más importante del video. When, when the, sorry, continue. Siga. Okay. Uh, when I use a, a, a sentence to the, to the verb to be, the answers always is short. Yes, uh, yes, I am. Yes, he is. Yes, you are. Or oh, negative. Uh, no, he is not. Or oh, no, he's, he isn't, for example. Okay, very nice. Thank you so much. Another um, addition to this? Something else that you would like to add? Ok, this is like a review, este es un repaso, es algo que, que ya habíamos visto, pero nunca está de más, siempre surge algo nuevo, algo importante. Mm -hmm. So, um, decíamos que las yes, no questions, en este caso estamos haciendo preguntas eh, de respuesta corta con el verbo to be. ¿Qué significa, decíamos? Cero estar. Cero, Cero. estar, excelente. Entonces, eh, eh, se nos daba la estructura, ¿verdad? Que primero vamos a utilizar el verbo. Vamos a colocar aquí am, um, is o are, que son las tres formas del verbo to be. Cuando vamos a usar am, por ejemplo, si el sujeto es I, solo en ese caso usamos am. Luego, cuando utilizamos are, si el sujeto es you, we, they, we, they. We. Y cuando usamos is. He, she, it. She, For he, me. she, and it. Yeah. Very good. So, I know that was the formula of how to form the questions. First, the bird be, then subject, gotcha. and then a kind of complement. And finally, the question mark. And then we have the, the ways to answer affirmative. Cuando estamos respondiendo afirmativo, solo hay una manera de hacerlo y es la que se nos muestra aquí. Yes, I am. Yes, he is. Yes, it is. Yes, we are. Yes, they are. Mencionaba en el video que siempre en la respuesta se incluye también el verbo to be. Siempre que respondemos, incluimos el verbo to be. 
Otra cosa muy importante que decía, ya sea la respuesta afirmativa o negativa, tenemos que dar la respuesta completa. Por ejemplo, si le preguntan, um, ¿estás libre? Are you free? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I am. Completo. Yes, I yeah. am. Yes, I am. O oh, si es negativo, tiene que contestar no, I am not. No. Porque si le preguntan, eh, cualquier pregunta que sea, ¿verdad? De esta yes, no question en cualquier estructura. Pero si usted le preguntan, por ejemplo, esta que tenemos al principio, are you free? Y usted contesta no. Are you free? Yes. Es tomado como como una grosería, como que usted está siendo it's grosero, not como que es it's not polite, como like uh, you're not willing to talk. Ah, lo toman como que usted no quiere hablar. Si usted solo contesta con yes o no. Entonces tiene que ser la uh, yes I am o no I am not completa. Eh, quedó claro hasta acá? Vamos bien. Yes. Yes, always. <laughs> Now, otra cosa importante de mencionar acá, de hacer como el refresher, es de que en la forma negativa hay dos formas de hacerlo. El significado no cambia. Solo tenemos dos formas diferentes de contratarlo. Eh, a excepción, si voy a contratar con la persona I. Si voy a contratar con I, solo tengo esta forma. No, I'm not. Es la única. Contractando el sujeto con el be. I'm not. Con los demás subjects tiene las dos formas. Puede contractar ya sea el sujeto con el verbo be o el verbo be con el sujeto. And it's exactly the same. Es lo mismo. Preguntas, questions so far? No. No questions. All right. So I'll give you a couple of minutes for you to read and complete these conversations. Vamos a tratar de completarlas. Les voy a dar unos minutos para que lean y vean cuál sería la respuesta. Y luego chequeamos. Ok, Lee, ya lo vi que anda por ahí. Teacher. Yes. Este, cuando pasó lista, puso en cuenta a Katy. Eh, déjeme ver a Katherine Abigail. Ajá, que la sacó el internet de la ah. página. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Gracias por avisar, porque sí, a Katherine le había puesto que no estaba. Y este... Ah, es que la sacó el sistema y dice que no puede meter, entrar de nuevo porque no le da la señal bien. Ah, ok, sí, el internet ha estado un poquito caprichoso ahora. Y vi también a, Os, a, a O'Kelly. Hello, teacher, Para... I'm driving. Uh -huh. Ok, O'Kelly, okay, perfecto. No encienda la cámara, no se preocupe, solo escúchenos. Lo queremos bien y lo queremos seguro. Gracias por unirse. <risa> ok, ok. María Catalina. Quiero ver a María Catalina. Si la pusimos, ya se nos unió también. María Catalina, gracias. Ahorita le pongo aquí que está presente. Que si le había puesto que no estaba.
Okay, let's check the answer. So in number one, letter A is already done. The answer is, is. What about B? What is the answer in letter B? Yes, she. Is. Yes, uh -huh. she is. Yes, she is. She is from. Uh -huh. She is from, from Chicago. Yes. Okay. What about number two? Is English class at 10? Mm. Sí, no, 50. 50. Algo falta por ahí. It is? It's your, no? Uh -huh. Is your, is your English class at 10? Es tu clase de inglés a las. Ya yes, sería, right? It's your English class at 10. Letter no, B. It no, it is. It isn't. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Uh -huh. no, it isn't. It's at it 11. Uh -huh. It's at 11. Yeah. It's at 11. Now, letter number three. I'm sorry, number three. Are you and Monique from France? Are you and Monique from France? Very good. And the answer? Yes, yes we? Yes, yes we, we are. are. Yes, we are. We are from I'm Paris. From... Uh -huh. from Siempre Paris. sería we are, porque estamos hablando de nosotras. We, we are, are from Paris. From Paris. Uh -huh. Now, the last one, number four. Are Mr. and Miss Tavares American? Yes, are Mr. and Miss Tavares from America? No, they? No, they are. Aren't. No, they are. I'm aren't. from yes. Brazilian. No, they aren't. Yes, they, they, are, are. they are Brazilian. They, aren't. they are Brazilian. Mm -hmm. No, they are Brazilian. No, they aren't. They are Brazilian. Now, the last teacher. exercise in this page is to... Teacher, disculpe. Hola, teacher. Sí, le escucho. Ah, disculpe, que creí que no me escuchaba. En la, en la número uno me quedó duda porque el espacio del principio no, no sé qué iba ahí. En la A. En la A. De la ah, uno. Number one. Uno A. Sí, ahí, por favor. ¿Aquí? Ajá. ¿Cuál es la pregunta? ¿Qué es lo que va al principio? Is. ¿Y el espacio que es el principio? Ese. ese solo is, va. Solo is, ajá. Solo is. Sí, es, es un solo espacio, no más que sí está bien grandecito, pero solamente es is. Ah, ok, gracias. Uh -huh. Any other thing or question here? No question. Okay, now let's answer these questions. Are you from the United States, Reina Carolina? Are you from the United States? No. No, no, she's not. Um, no, I'm not. Uh -huh. no, Sería, I'm not. I am not. No, I am not. No, I am not. Now, uh, Walter, is your teacher from Canada? No, she isn't. She is from El Salvador. And very good. No, she isn't. She's from El Salvador. Excellent. Carlos Armando, is your English class in the morning? No, it isn't. My English class is in the night. Oh, very good, excellent. Let's see, Jose Mauricio, are you and your best friend the same age? Yes, we are. Okay. Yes, we are. Very good. So, um, este ejercicio de estas preguntas está en la plataforma. ¿Cuántos ya llegaron ahí a este ejercicio? Yo ya lo hice. Ya lo hice, teacher. Ok, muy bien. ¿Qué nos pueden decir para los que no lo han hecho todavía? Bien, Osmel.
Ok, para los que no lo han hecho todavía, en la indicación dice que tiene que contestar las preguntas. ¿Cómo? Dice con la información de, de, de nosotros. Ajá. Pero a mí no me lo agarró. Yo tuve que ponerla de otra forma porque yo le estaba poniendo información este, mía y no la agarraba. Exacto, así es que la cuando... en general. Yes, ajá, tiene una respuesta genérica, ya no es la que nosotros eh, pongamos de acuerdo a nuestra realidad, sino que ya trae la plataforma una respuesta que es la que acepta, así es de que si cuando lleguen a este ejercicio no, no se vayan a sorprender, porque sí está un poquito confuso. Eh, um, ¿Algo más? ¿Alguna pregunta respecto a algún ejercicio? No questions? No questions. No questions. Okay, so we can move on. And here we have the word power. We're going to practice vocabulary, uh, the different ways to say hello and goodbye. Let us practice pronunciation. Bye. 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 Good morning. Good morning. Good, morning. Good, morning. good night. Good, good night. night. Have a good day. Have a, Have good, a good, day. good day. Hey. Hey. Hi. 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 How are you? How are you? How's it going? How's, How's it going? going? See you later. See you later. See you, later. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Talk to you later. Talk to you later. later. What's up? What's up? What's up? So in this chart, you have to classify the, the greetings to say hello and the ways to say goodbye. ¿Cuáles están eh, en esta línea para decir hello? Para, es como un saludo de entrada, ¿verdad? De, de inicio. ¿Y cuáles son como para una despedida, como para decir goodbye? Uh, los primeros ejemplos están hechos ya, tenemos como para decir hello, sería mm -hmm. un good morning, o sea, en la mañana usted se encuentra con alguien, le puede decir, hey, good morning, yes, good morning, es una manera y, diferente de decir hello, eh, para decir goodbye tenemos ahí bye, ahora good night, good night, ¿dónde colocaríamos good night? Good para bye. Ajá, In para good decir bye. goodbye. Acuérdense, acuérdense que cuando decimos good night, nos estamos despidiendo, ¿verdad? Porque ya nos vamos a dormir, porque ya es noche, porque se terminó la hora de visita y decimos good night. Y si al revés, teacher. ¿Ah? Eh, cuando es un saludo. Cuando es un saludo, noche. decimos good evening. Oh. Cuando sea tarde o noche. Por eso cuando empezamos la conferencia para decir el saludo de entrada es good evening. Good evening. Good Yo a veces no saludo porque ya está en clase. Sí. Ajá, es como decir hola por la noche, hola por la tarde. Good evening. Y ya adiós por la noche. Ya es good night. Good night. Uh -huh. Good. Uh, now let's see. Have a good day. And goodbye? Yes, it's a way to say goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, hey. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hi. Hello. 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 How are you? Hello. 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 How's it going? Hello. How are you? It's goodbye. Hmm. El how's it going es igual, un saludo de entrada. Es como decirle, ¿cómo te está yendo? How's it going? Entonces, el how's it going lo pondríamos en... Hello. Hello. Y el see you later. Goodbye. 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 See you tomorrow. Goodbye. Hello. Goodbye. Talk to you later. Goodbye. Goodbye. What's up? Hello. Hello. Good. Now, match the expressions with the best responses. Tenemos las expresiones acá y las, las respuestas acá. Let's pronounce them. Have a good day. Thank you. Have a good day. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? What's up? 
What's up? What's up? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, not much. Uh, not, uh, much. not much. Thank you. You too. Thank, Thank you. You. you too. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Pretty good. Thanks. Pretty good. Good day. Good day. Good day. Ok, so tenemos, have a good day, lo responderíamos con, thank you. You too. You too. Have a good day. Thank you. You thank too. You. You too. Now, hi, how are you? Pretty good, Pretty thanks. Good, thanks. Pretty, good, thanks. Pretty good, thanks. Pretty good, thanks. What's up? Uh, not much. Oh, no, not much. No, oh, not much. Oh, not much. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, cool. So um, this is a like practice. So we are going to uh, practice the not random. Uh, Emma, what's up? Um, tengo que contestarle. No, la que acabamos de hacer. Okay. Uh, on the match. Oh, not much. Okay, Emma, continue. Uh, what's up, Ana Trinidad? Ana, si le dicen what's up, ¿cómo contesta? What's up? Me confundí. Uh, oh, not much. Ahora usted, Ana, pregúntale a alguien, cualquiera de estas. Irving. Irving. Very good, thanks. Ok, very good. Continue, Irving. Have a good day, Joanna. Joana, have a good day. Aquí estoy. Have a good day. Eh, eh, see, see, you, see you tomorrow. Sí. Nos inventó la respuesta. Mire qué bien. Yes. Ajá. <laughs> uh -huh. Sí. Si alguien le dice así, le puede contestar. See you tomorrow. <laughs> De todos modos, el inglés así es sin libro. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Very good. Now, uh, let us move on. Con esto terminamos la presentación de la sección número uno y moveríamos a la sección dos. Que empieza, I think it starts with the conversation. Let's check on the video. Y porque compartió otra vez la presentación viejita. Okay, let us try one more time. Video. Uh huh. This is it. Remember, remember to start completing the platform. That is very, very important. Okay, we have that ready. What's in the name? That uh, you can complete it in your material. Y se quedó trabada otra vez. Okay, démosle chance. Okay, we are here in section number two and we have uh, the first um, conversation here in the video. Where do you work? Let us listen for pronunciation and then you have questions you can ask. Hi everyone, welcome to section two. How do you spend your day? In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about jobs using WH question words as well as statements. Where do you work? Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student, and I have a part-time job, too. Oh? Where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Okay. 
Okay, let me share the screen so we can study this conversation. Okay, this is the conversation that you already listened to. How do you spend your day and where do you work? Okay, this is the conversation. Let us scan it and tell me if you have any question in regards of uh, pronunciation or vocabulary. Teacher, what do you do is mean, uh, doesn't mean um, a profession. Yes. Uh, uh -huh. There are uh, another way to say a profession. What do you what, do profession, for example? For example? What is your, your occupation? occupation? Ah, okay. Puede preguntarle cuál es tu ocupación. What or, is your occupation? Or what do you do? Oh, what do you do? Okay. In a what do you do, también se puede eh, eh, agregarle el exactly, porque el what do you do también se puede interpretar como que qué haces. Uh -huh. uh, por ejemplo, me pueden preguntar a mí, what do you do? Y yo le puedo contestar, I am a call center agent. Uh -huh. Soy un agente en un call center, pero usted quiere saber qué hago ahí. ¿Cuáles son mis actividades? Entonces me puede preguntar, what do you do exactly? And mm -hmm. then I, I can say, I answer the phone, I send uh, emails, I work in assignments, I make reports. Y ahí ya le estoy diciendo qué es exactamente lo que hago. Entonces, sí, por eso okay. con el what do you do, a veces se puede interpretar de esas dos maneras. Es como que okay. yo diga, um, Irving, what do you do? Pero como quiero saber las actividades que hacen. What do you exactly do at your workplace? ¿Qué es exactamente lo Ajá. que hace? ¿Cuáles son las actividades que hace? Ok. Ya needs to be more specific. Ok. Any other question? Ok, if there are no more questions, we can practice pronunciation and then we're going to go ahead and practice in group. Let's repeat. Where do you work, Andrea? Where do you work, Andrea? I work, work at Thomas Cook Travel. I work at, I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? Oh, really? Oh, really? Oh, really? Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. How, How interesting. interesting. Yeah, it's a great job. I really love it. And what do you do? Yeah, yeah. 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 I really love it. Really love it. Oh, what do you do? What do you do? Oh, I'm a student. I have a part time job too. Oh, oh, I am a Where do you work? Where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Hamburger Heaven. Okay, so I'm going to create a group so you can practice with your classmates. Let's see if we can recreate them. And uh, let it be recreate. Let us join the rooms and let's practice this conversation with our classmates. Ana y Reina, creo que se me han quedado. 
pegadas, Irving quedó solito. Ana y Emily. Voy a mover a Irving para mientras, para que no esté solo. Las voy a reasignar a ustedes también, porque creo que se han quedado por ahí pegaditas. Ana no se pudo unir, ¿verdad? Se había quedado como pegadita. Ay, otra vez creo que se quedó. Yes. Sí, eso es. Ok. Ok, I'm gonna be the first. I'll ask to... Where do you work, George? George Can you I... give some the screen, Edwin? Please. A little bit more, please. Acercar. Make it bigger. Yeah. Uh -huh. In acercar. Uh, yeah, that's okay. Not too much. <laughs> Control menos. Presione control y menos. Control menos, control menos. It's okay. Ah, okay, very okay. good. Yeah. It's nice. Okay, I can Where do you work, Adam? Be Jackson. Okay, where do you work, Adam? Uh, I work in Thomas Cut Travel. Travel. Oh, oh, really? What do you do? What do you do? I'm a guide. I take people on, on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it is. Yes, it is a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I am studying. I'm studying. I have a part-time job, too. Oh, where do you go? I fast food restaurant. Which uh, restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Oh, really good hamburger. <laughs> now, Joshua. Yes. Uh, somebody can ask me. Okay. Where do you work, uh, Joshua? Joshua. Yes, I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yeah, it's a great job. I really love it. And uh, what do you do? I am a student and I have a part-time job too. Where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. I think. Bueno, les quedan 35 minutos para que le den volando. Can I ask you, Edwin? Yes. Okay. Where do you work, Edwin? I work on Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guy. I take people on tour to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it is a great job. I love it. And um, what do you do? Oh, I'm a student. I have a part time job too. Oh, Bye. -bye. Well Oh, 
All right. So I think that everybody is back again and uh, you did a nice job by practicing. So this is it for today. I know that you are tired. Thank you for joining today's section and see you tomorrow. We will continue with section number three. No, la numero dos. Es el sueño Sir, one question, please. <laughs> yes. What do you say, heaven or heaven? Heaven. heaven. Hamburger heaven. Hamburger heaven. Hamburg heaven. Teacher, yo, heaven. Eh, eh, no dice, I give, como guide, pero, ¿cómo es la pronunciación? Sí, porque sonaba como guide. Guide. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Guide. Guide. Uh -huh. guide. Uh -huh. I'm a guide. guide. I'm a tour guide. 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 Uh -huh. I'm a guide. guide. I'm a tour guide. 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 Okay. Uh, guide. Yes, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Any other question before we leave? No more questions. <laughs> sure. no question. Teacher, could you could you give us a, a, a one advice to improve a, a speaking, uh, improve a vocabulary? To increase vocabulary or pronunciation para incrementar vocabulario o pronunciación, lo que personalmente me funcionaba era escuchar canciones en inglés obviamente verdad románticas que vayan a un tono tranquilo y me gustaba mucho ponerlas como en karaoke en versión karaoke Sí, Ajá, claro. entonces te las iba leyendo y pronunciando y si veía alguna palabra nueva que me llamara la atención la buscaba a ver qué significaba y trataba de practicarla o utilizarla en un en alguna oración para que se me fueran quedando, porque así de estar repitiendo no se me quedan. Es, yo tengo que hacer planas para que y, algo se me quede. Y like lo otro que también usa los post-its, no sé si ven yeah. atrás. Yeah. Eh, yo en serio pego post-its para aprenderme cosas y nomás levantarse, usted lo ve y se le va quedando y se le va quedando y no se le va a olvidar. Muy yeah. excelente, Emma. Eso yeah. les, les, es, es un buen tip el que les ha dado, porque de repente anotamos las palabras en el cuaderno, pero quedaron ahí. En cambio, si usted las pega en la pared, de repente póngalas enfrente del comedor, usted se sienta a comer y ay, ahí está el post-it, ay, ahí están las palabras. O enfrente de su escritorio, de su computadora, and it works a lot too. Yeah. Thank you. That is attitude. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Ok, ahí les voy a compartir también en, en el WhatsApp una aplicación que también ayuda mucho porque son lecturas y este, ahí las pueden ir escuchando. Eh, eh, tienen su, ahí es para que ustedes la atravesen porque tienen la, el vocabulario aparte. Hay preguntas de esa lectura y la pueden ir escuchando para que vayan leyendo y escuchando la pronunciación. Se la voy a pasar el nombre de la app y, y ahí en el WhatsApp. Ok. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. See you tomorrow. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Good night. Sleep well. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.